Good day, Grade Tents. Welcome to your second lesson or your third lesson in trigonometry um, in week nine. We've learned about Sokotoa and today we're going to learn about the reciprocals. Now, reciprocals are the inverse of Sokotoa. So let's have a look at a couple of examples so you can understand. So first of all, let's go through what are the reciprocal ratios. What are the reciprocal ratios? So we have learned about Sokotoa. So Sokotoa, Sokotoa, where the sine of an angle, let's call it theta, and I'm going to call this little angle here theta, is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse, the cos theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse and we've got tan theta which is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. Now reciprocal just means one over so it's the inverse of that. So in other words let me just change colors here the reciprocal of this one here, instead of opposite of hypotenuse, what is it going to be? It is going to be hypotenuse over opposite. Hypotenuse over opposite. And that is designated the word cosecant cosecant. So the cosecant of theta is the opposite of sine theta which is so sine theta is the opposite of hypotenuse. So cosecant is the opposite hypotenuse over opposite. Cos theta is adjacent to hypotenuse. So the co-ratio of that is called secant. The secant of theta is equal to the secant of theta is going to be equal to the hypotenuse, hypotenuse over the adjacent. And then finally, the inverse of tan is called cotangent. Okay, cotangent, or we could like to call it cot, cot theta. And that is obviously going to be the inverse of that, which is adjacent over opposite. So you can see it's actually really easy. What we're looking at is just the inverse of our soccer toes. Right, so let's do an example so we can get to grips with this. So here we've got a right angle triangle and just as much as soccer toe always works with the right angle triangle, soccer toe. Okay, the inverses obviously also work with it. So let's choose y to be angle theta. And let's say that I want cot, cot theta. Now cot theta is the inverse of tan theta. And tan theta is opposite over adjacent. So therefore, we will now want the inverse of that, which is going to be the adjacent side over the opposite. Right, so now that we know what we're looking for, we need to recognize which of these sides are the, these appropriate sides on this triangle. So the one opposite the right angle, and it's the longer side always, is the hypotenuse. You guys should be used to that one. The side that's next to the angle is called the adjacent, and the one that is opposite it is called the opposite side. Easy peasy, right? So cut theta, the ratio of cut theta is going to be the adjacent over the opposite, which in this case is going to be 30 over 16. And we can divide both of those by 2, so we get 15 over 8. The ratio is 15 over 8. Right, let's try another one. Let's look for the secant 
of theta. Now, the sec of theta is the inverse that equals to 1 over cos theta. Okay, 1 over cos theta is sec theta. That's what we mean by the inverse. So cos theta is adjacent of our hypotenuse. So therefore, the sec theta is going to be hypotenuse over adjacent. Hypotenuse over adjacent. So the hypotenuse in this case is 34 over the adjacent, which in this case is 30. And then what we can do is we can realize that we're both divisible by 2. So 34 divided by 2 is going to be 17. So the answer to that is 17 over 15. Okay, do you get the idea? Now we talk about the cosec. The cosec theta is the cosecant. We spoke about that earlier, cosecant. And this is 1 over sine theta. And just to prove to you that it is the inverse, sine theta is opposite over our partners, so it's 1 over opposite over our partners, which is saying is 1 times by, sorry, let me fix that, it is 1 divided by opposite of our hypotenuse. And what do you do when you're dividing by a fraction? You tip and times. So that becomes 1 times by hypotenuse of opposite. And that's how we know that the cosecant is the inverse of opposite of our hypotenuse, which is hypotenuse of opposite. And the hypotenuse in this case is 34 over 16. We can divide both of these by 2 and we get then 17 over 8, 17 over 8. And that there is examples of how we can get our inverses, our reciprocals. Let's look at another example just to make sure we've got it. Let's go and look at sine theta. And again, I'm just going to help myself by writing Sokotoa, even though we're doing the reciprocals. Sokotoa. So in this case, I'm going to make this angle at the top here be theta. It really doesn't matter which one we're looking at. So then this is obviously the hypotenuse. The S side opposite the angle is 48 in this case, which is opposite. And therefore, this here is the adjacent side. So again, let's have a look at our sec. Our sec theta is the inverse of cos theta. Cos is adjacent of hypotenuse, therefore sec is hypotenuse over adjacent, which is going to be the hypotenuse is 50 over the, opposite, over the adjacent, which is 14. You divide both of these by 2, you get 25 over 7, and that's the ratio. You don't need to make it into a fraction. Okay, next let's look at, I don't know, the cosec. Cosec theta is again the inverse of sine theta. Sine theta is opposite of hypotenuse, so therefore cosec is going to be hypotenuse over theta. Hypotenuse over theta of the opposite is again, sorry, not over theta, of opposite. I don't know what I was thinking. So it's going to be 50 over 48. So it's 50 over 48. If we divide both of those by 2, we get 25 over 24. So the ratio of that is 25 over 24. And finally, look at, look at cot theta. Cot theta is the inverse of tan theta. Tan theta is opposite of adjacent, so this is going to be adjacent of opposite, which is going to be 14 over 48, where again we can divide both of these by 2, just simplifying, so it gives you 7 over 24, and that cannot be simplified any further. So now you can see how we can use our Sokotoa and the reciprocals. In grade 10s, please make sure you understand and know how to use the reciprocals, and then practice them, and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a great day.